girl Sassy MC here, and I would like to welcome you to LIB Litus News 231 YouTube channel. LIB Litus News 231 is the place where you can watch all of your political news, entertainment news, and sports news. To stay informed about the latest news, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification button on your screen for more videos from Liberia, Africa, and the world at large. It is good. Just comment and let us know, please. And then we can officially begin the commentary. But you see these guys in the green. They are police recruits to be held at the Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism. Okay. So the government is currently having a press conference. And we are at the court as well, awaiting the arrival from within Centra, the former Chief Justice and three others. Their lawyers late yesterday filed for a rate of Hebrews couples that was granted by the court. So now, by law, by the precept of the court, the Liberian National Police is to turn over the living body of Councillor Scott and the three others but what we've been reliably informed of by our sources is that once they are turned over once they are released from police custody right on this spot a sheriff from the court is going to then serve the arrest warrant as well and they would then be handed over to criminal court c that is what we're hearing so we're waiting to bring you all of the happenings the police headquarters is manned seriously today we see at the back there further you see riot police the information they are anticipating any sort of incursion illegal incursion we've been seeing the legal team some members of the legal team of council of scott what we've been told is that former associate justice cabinet janet is a part of her legal team that, all right, so we see movement. We see movement. Let's see if that is the no, that is not the former chief justice. Yesterday, when she arrived, she was wearing a violet dress with a black hair tied and a black scarf around her neck. We'll see what she'll be wearing today according to what so we've been told she slept here at the police headquarters so we'll see what this process is going to entail so wherever you are you welcome you can share this live podcast this is a historic proceeding in our country's you know history this is this is a landmark one i should say because councillor mususka presided over the supreme court she also headed the justice ministry these are family members of the counselor and those that have been detained so according to her son so yesterday at about 10 a.m. the counselor and her legal team arrived here as per their request after they asked for an extension to an official police invite and um, we see okay so we're seeing people still exiting the building this is as far as we can get shields are up by the riot police shields are up they are coming outside the counselor and those who were detained yesterday there she is she's wearing a jacket a black jacket so we'll zoom in we'll zoom in there she is she's coming out so let's zoom in quickly the counselor is now wearing a black jacket she's in the middle of the police war counselor Gloria Mususkat and three others they are walking they are proceeding so you see the police war she's in the middle of that war so they are walking out she there she is She's still wearing the clothes from yesterday. She's further back. Councillor Gloria Mutuskat, 
the former Chief Justice of the Republic of Liberia, now a suspect charged with three counts, murder, criminal conspiracy, and making false statements. So she's wearing the same clothes from yesterday, the police wore. So you see the counselor and the three others, she's wearing a dark shades, heavily guarded by police, and she's not handcuffed. She's not handcuffed. She's wearing what she wore yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, they are making their way to the grounds of the court. Spoon TV Life coming to you from the grounds of Temple of Justice. This is what news gathering entails. The former Chief Justice is making her way. There they are. So this all started on the 22nd of February 2023 when Chalo Musu, one of the daughters of the counselor, was killed in her Burville home, according to the counselor. So there she is. She is walking steadily. Their counselor, Gloria Musu Scott, is. So they're making their way to criminal court C. The person who once presided over the justice system in our country. So the police guarding her, her legal team. We have to adjust for position. Councillor Musu Scott there, accompanied by her lawyers, making their way to criminal court C. So they enter in the court, and now they've entered where she will then be. So she's entering the sheriff's office. This is as far as we can get. The police have turned her over to the court as demanded by the rates of Herbert's couples. So, the police securing the place. So, ladies and gentlemen, Councillor Gloria Musu Scott has been finally turned over to the court. And the next step is what we've been told an arrest warrant is going to be made for she and three others. So there is a press conference happening at the Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism. And we will see whether or not we'll be granted permission to Okay, so we've been instructed the rate of habeas corpus that the state turns over the living body of Councillor Gloria Musu Scott, old lady Rebecca Yude Wisner, and two others. The state had argued that they did not detain her, and the rate that was prayed for by the petitioners was prematured. And the judge, in his ruling, um, granted the rate of habeas corpus but what we're getting is she is going to be issued and serve an arrest warrant yeah right outside of the court so she and her co-petitioners now suspects the state also did confirm that she's now a suspect and she has been charged along with three others um, with murder first which is a first degree felony in liberia as well as um, criminal conspiracy and making false statements so what we can tell you is uh, according to what we've gathered the former chief justice is to be served her arrest rate year but the judge has granted the rate of habeas corpus so we'll see whether she will be released to her lawyers my name is diamond slanger we did listen to arguments from the state and 
the respondents but let's see what is going to happen here if the former chief justice is going to be served by the sheriff of the city court so supporters making their way out a barrage of reporters here bystanders this is the woman who presided over the supreme court of liberia she was once the attorney general of the public of liberia she served as justice minister one time senator of maryland county judge of the probate court and this is a landmark case in our country that the former chief justice you know is faced in such a legal um battle so the judge has issued the writ of um, herbius corpus she will be turned over to her lawyers the state lost this particular argument um this course of action so that is her lead counsel um walking with the red and white tie so the car is here she will be put into this jeep she will be put into this jeep so she's making her way out shielded by her counselors uh, a whole legal team you see the former chief justice there Madam Gloria Mususka, there she is. She's well shielded. There, there she is. We'll see whether she will be served. The former Chief Justice is walking. She's holding hands. And we'll see where she's going. She's being guarded to the vehicle. She's being guarded to the vehicle. There she is. She's making her way into the vehicle. Whether they will leave from here and go home. The former Chief Justice. Well, they will make their way to the city court. The vehicle is well protected, well marshaled. Ladies and gentlemen, other members are making their way into the vehicle as well. So the breaking news here is they have been granted the rate of habeas corpus, but we'll see where this vehicle will make its way, whether to the city court or she'll make her way home. The former chief justice is on board this Rexton and it's being heavily manned. The court officials are saying the vehicle should wait, so they're going. We'll see where they're headed to. What are they making their way to the city court, or she's going home? The police opening the barrier. The former chief justice is on board this vehicle. You can hear chants. Her supporters are chanting, and they're taking Gloria Musu's car away. You see the punch of justice in the air. Victory, they're saying, and away she goes. So former Chief Justice Gloria Mususkan has been set free. For now, according to state lawyers, her supporters. So she will never kill him or be. So you see supporters there, they're chanting family members. This is another vehicle that the family has been using. So the judge of criminal court C granted the rate of habeas corpus to the former chief justice and co-respondents that the state should turn over their living bodies to their lawyers because the state has not come up with any prima facie according to the defense lawyers, the petitioner lawyers, that it took the state four months of constructive detention since February 23rd up to June 20th. They've been in constructive detention. They've been caught. Their rights have been impeded. And today, they were granted this rate. So uh, the first blow goes against the state in this matter. But state lawyers have said they are not backing down. The, the government has formally charged her with murder, criminal conspiracy, and making false statements. But today here in criminal court, see Gloria Mususkat boarded a black jeep and away they went. As to how the court is going to, how the state, the prosecutors are going to have her rearrested. You see jubilant supporters. You see jubilant supporters. They Hi, it's your girl Sassy MC here, and I would like to welcome you to LIB Litus News 231 YouTube channel. LIB Litus News 231 is the place where you can watch all of your political news, entertainment news, and sports news.
to stay informed about the latest news, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification button on your screen for more videos from Liberia, Africa, and the world at large.